In this video, I'm going to show you how to download ModRinth for mod packs and mods. The first thing you want to do is you want to open any web browser. For this video, I'm going to be utilizing Google Chrome. All right, then all we're going to be doing is we're going to go to the search bar and just look up ModRinth download just like so. ModRinth is completely free and it's a similar platform to something like CurseForge. It's basically where you're able to go ahead and download mod packs easily with the click of a button. All right, so now what you want to do is you want to go ahead and press on this button over here that says download the ModRinth app. And depending on your web browser, you may be able to see the download on the top right over here. But if you don't, you guys could always just open up your file explorer and then look underneath downloads. But anyways, guys, let's go ahead and just open up the ModRinth app. And my screen is black at the moment, so I apologize for that. But basically, your computer is going to ask you for permission to actually make changes. So go ahead and press on yes. Then you will be taken to the ModRinth wizard setup. Go ahead and press on next. Over here, it is going to tell you where your device it is going to install ModRinth. Then go ahead and press on next and now wait for the installation. Then once it's completed, go ahead and press on next. Then go ahead and press on finish. Then wait for ModRinth to actually load in. All right, so here's how things do look like. So as you're able to tell, we have a bunch of different mod packs that we can go ahead and play. Cobblemon, Age, and a bunch of other great ones over here. And I also recommend that you guys sign into your Minecraft account. Uh, you guys are able to do so on the top right over here. So I'm just going to go ahead and sign in really quickly. I recommend that you guys do the same thing. So I'm just going to go ahead and log in. All right, here I am already logged in and it should be relatively easy. So what you want to do in order to get started is go to the left menu and go ahead and look for the mod pack that you want to go ahead and install. So if we go over here, we're able to see all of the different mod packs. There's a lot of great options for us over here. And we can even separate it between mods, resource packs, data packs, and even shaders as well. So this will just make downloading mods and mod packs significantly easier. So I'm really happy about that. And over here, we have our library. And an instance is basically like a mod pack that we did download. So as you're able to tell, we have absolutely none right over here. So for now, let's go ahead and install the fabulously optimized mod pack right over here. So all I'm going to be doing is just going to press on install and just wait for it to actually load in. So, yep, there you go. All right. Now, once it's finished installing, you will see a button over here that says play. But before you go ahead and press on that, please go ahead and take a look at the gear icon over here that does say instant settings. So over here, we can go ahead and make any changes that you want. So if you want to change the name or you want to change the uh, icon of the mod pack, that is something that you guys can do. But guys, what's really important is that you guys go over here to where it says Java and memory. And basically, where it does say memory allocation, make sure that custom memory allocation is turned on and set it to as much as you can on your actual device. So I personally have eight gigabytes of RAM. So I'm going to go ahead and set it to that. And this is really important that you guys do this because there's some pretty heavy mod packs out there that do require a ton of RAM. So you want to make sure that you do have sufficient amount of RAM to actually run those heavy mod packs. Anyways, guys, once you're done with that, feel free to go ahead and close out of it. Then once you're 100% satisfied and you're 100% sure you want to download this mod pack, go ahead and press on play. And now it is going to take like around 30 or even up to like a couple minutes to actually load in Minecraft. And if you guys are a little bit concerned because you don't see anything popping up for a little bit, do not worry. What I recommend that you guys do is actually go ahead and press on view logs over here. And then you have, as you're able to tell, it actually is working. So at the moment, it is running all of our mods and stuff like that. So do not worry about that. So just be patient and wait for your mod pack to open up. And sometimes, one time it took me like around 10 minutes to open, guys. So if it takes a little bit, do not worry. All right, guys, you will now notice that Minecraft will now open up. So from here, we can go ahead and actually start playing Minecraft. So let's go ahead and just create a brand new world really quickly. All right, guys, and here we are in our mod pack and our game is running incredibly smoothly. So if we take a look at our FPS, we're getting over 300 FPS, which is honestly pretty cool. If you guys found this video helpful, make sure to leave a like and subscribe as we are trying to reach 400,000 subscribers. See you later, French fries.